Hey guys, it's been a while since I posted, but I wanted to do an update to my game room. Um, I want to get uh, a few more videos uploaded as well as some pickup videos and things like that. But um, I thought, first of all, it's been about uh, six months or so since I've done an update on my game room. A lot's changed. Um, got a few more games. I've done some uh, changes to the room here, so I just wanted to kind of go over some of the, the changes and, and kind of what's new. Um, so you'll notice that my game shelf has uh, thickened out a little bit more. Um, you'll see that um, I've kind of got more games on here now. Uh, there's a kind of a Wii U collection started. It's really small. I, I pretty much started collecting the Wii U since Nintendo decided to cancel it and move on to the Switch. I figure that um, even though the console was not all that well adopted, the games for it will probably start becoming collectible. So I'm going to start picking up Wii U games as much as I can. Um, I got a few more Nintendo 64 games for sure. Um, I don't know if I had these the last time, but I started using these labels. I did a video on these end labels. These I would highly recommend. They're probably the best end labels for Nintendo 64 cartridges that you can get. As you can see, the label colors are matched with the color of the cartridge. And so you'll get a label for every single version and every single N64 game that there is. And uh, they really just turn out nice. I think they look really nice. And they make it so that you can see which Nintendo 64 games you have uh, without having to go through each one of them. Um, I've also gotten quite a few more GameCube games. So I've got uh, almost a, a full shelf of GameCube games here. Um, I got some of the uh, ones that I've been really kind of wanting. So you'll see, um, you know, I've got some... Uh, Legend of Zelda ones there, Mario Kart Double Dash, Super Smash Brothers, um, Super Mario Sunshine, Wario Land, um, so uh, Star Wars Rogue One. So I've gotten a number of new GameCube games, some, you know, uh, some of the ones that are a little bit more pricey, and then you have some that are pretty common and easy to find, but I've been kind of moving along the GameCube. That's probably the system I've been collecting the most for, it seems like, lately. Um, then up there, my Nintendo collection, I have added a few to it. The original NES collection hasn't grown too much, probably since the last video. Um, but I continue to play those games. I love them, and whenever I can find good deals on them, I'm picking those up as much as I can. Um, there are some new Super Nintendo games uh, in the collection here. I can't say which ones I've added since the last video, but uh, I have found a number of new games that I like. And I, I try and pick those up whenever I can, because Super Nintendo seems to be the collection that's one of the more difficult ones to get. Um, up at the top there, you'll see I've kind of rearranged it. I've got more or less some uh, figures and some models and toys and stuff like that. Uh, you'll see that at the very top there, I did pick up a Nintendo Switch not too long after it came out. And so I actually have a little collection going for that. Uh, I really do enjoy the Nintendo Switch and definitely recommend picking one up if you can get one at a good price. Um, I have picked up a few more Xbox One games. I'm not playing the Xbox One as much as I used to, but uh, anytime I find games at a, at a reasonable cost, I'll go ahead and I'll pick them up, especially if it's something that I think I might play. And uh, this is definitely new over here. This little shelf that I built um, to kind of go along with my main game shelf. This is for the GameCube collection. So um, you'll see I basically created this little shelf, and it's got... Uh, mini shelves on here that allow me to kind of um, display my different GameCube games that I have. I'm not a huge GameCube collector, I'm sorry, Game Boy collector, but I do have a little decent collection going here, and I plan on picking them up as many as much as I can. I've got a few Game Boys down here uh, that I think I went over in my last pickups video, uh, but this shelf has actually a little groove down in here um, that allows me to. You know, it may be hard to see. That allows me to set the games on an angle and then they don't fall off the shelf. So I thought that was a pretty cool addition to the game room. Um, down at the bottom here, uh, not a lot's changed here. Although I have um, picked up, I think I mentioned this in a video. This is a holder for my Nintendo Switch. I think I've got a video on that if you want to check that out. A friend 3D printed that for me. And uh, it's super cool. It's, it's adjustable here so you can adjust it, but uh, there's more details on that in a different video that I've got up. And then uh, over here, this is an addition that I made, and one of the best additions that I made to the game room. So my game room is also my office. So I'll back up here so you can kind of see the whole thing. So my game room is my office, and I usually use that chair over there in the corner. But the problem is i got to move that chair closer to the gaming systems because the cords on the controllers are not long enough to reach it. So I'm always having to move that. 
and it's also starting to look a, a little um, wary there. So I decided I want to get something that I could move easily. And I found these um, beanbag chairs here in Walmart. And uh, the brand here is uh, Big Joe. These things are great for a game room because they don't take up a lot of room. I can quickly bring it over here, sit it in front of the TV and play. It's right down, kind of on the same level as my TV, so I don't have to uh, be looking up or down at the TV. It's it's perfect. I can put it as close, as far away as I want. So if you're looking for something to sit on while playing games, I would definitely recommend picking up one of those Big Joe beanbag chairs. The thing has been an awesome addition, and I definitely would recommend it. Uh, I believe this has changed a little bit since my last video. Um, I did get a different TV stand. This is a TV stand that I got from somebody who was a little rough. So I took it and I actually painted the top black there. And uh, I set up some of the consoles that I'm using the most back here up on it. I've got kind of one of each of the main consoles that I'm using. And then you'll see over there I moved my Wii. My Wii used to be out in my main living room. Uh, but I've kind of got my Wii U out there now which can play Wii games. So I moved the regular Wii back here and uh, I have it kind of all hooked up on the back of the TV here using this switcher. Uh, this TV is also great because it comes with a, uh, it has a bunch of different uh, inputs on it as well. So in addition to that switcher, I can also hook up a number of different consoles to it. So that's been a really great addition. Um, probably the other thing is uh, these frames, these were given to me as a gift. So I've got a Mario one right there, I've got a Luigi one, and then I've got this Game Boy one over here. These are really cool. I think these were picked up in like a Ross or a Marshalls type store. Um, they're, they're a really cool addition to uh, the game room here. Um, down over here, is, you'll see my Wii U gamepad like I said a little bit earlier. Um, I just started collecting for the Wii U. I was never all that interested in it, and I decided... Once Nintendo kind of moved to the Switch, I decided if I can find one for cheap, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. So I was able to get a black 32 gig Wii U system with a number of games um, for, it was like $150. And I'm talking, you know, like Super Mario Kart 8, uh, New Super Luigi U, Super Smash Brothers. I think there was like five to seven games, all really good titles and, and the console itself for $150. So that was a no-brainer for me. I thought I, I definitely need to go pick it up. Um, so the other thing that's new, like I mentioned, is going to be my Switch. I got a Nintendo Switch there. I've got a few games here. I've got the uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's a video on that. I've got Lego City Undercover. I've got uh, the Ultra Street Fighter to the final challenger game i've got uh, one two switch which is kind of a lame game but you know it is what it is and then i've got mario kart 8 deluxe which i really do enjoy so those are my switch games uh, not a ton of games i do have a few downloadable uh, digital games as well but um those are my switch games and then to kind of finish it up i did want to kind of come out here to the living room and let's take a quick look at my setup out here so this is my setup for most of my newer systems. Let me go ahead and get a light on there. So I've got a 55 inch um, Android Sony TV. And out here is where I do um, some of my more modern gaming systems. The only modern gaming system that I don't have is gonna be the PlayStation 4. I have an Xbox One and I enjoy it. So that's what I use. And most of the games that I like are gonna be on that anyway. Um, I kind of use that as my main console for, you know, Netflix and all that kind of stuff as well. Under there is going to be my Nintendo Switch. So you can see it's stocked under there. And then out here is going to be my Wii U. So those are the three consoles that I use out here. And this is kind of my setup for that. And so, like I said, all my um, more modern consoles are going to be set up out here. This is kind of what I play. So that was just a quick look at my uh, gaming room and kind of how it's evolved. I want to keep doing videos from time to time and just kind of keep track of uh, how it's going with it. Um, that way I can always come and look back on it and see kind of how it evolved over time. Hopefully it just keeps growing and growing and growing as, uh, as I'm able to. So, alrighty. Well, thank you for watching.